everybody, welcome to Show Us Your Dish, the cooking talk show where I invite New York comedians, actors, improvisers, and whatnot to my house to cook their favorite recipe and share it with me and my friends. Our guest today is a, an actor, improviser, and musician, and baker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a man, he has he glasses, a he's, he's an improviser, um, he's a writer. Uh, let's just get him down here for Christ's sake. Yeah, right? Michael Martin! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Michael Martin! Hey, hey Michael! Hey! Alright, thank hey. you so much for doing the show with us. It's my pleasure. Um, one of the reasons we wanted you to be on the show, not only because of your rep repertoire uh -huh. as a New York actor and improviser. Sure. But you are a, I would say, self-proclaimed wonderful baker. That is self-proclaimed. You're right. No <laughs> one else says that about me. But me. <laughs> you are a baker. You have your own blog called Pie Folk, where you cook. I do. I cook pie and I talk about my gay sex life and, and dating life and I talk, like, I make videos harassing the president to come over to my house and eat pie with me and talk about and we're gonna marriage get, equality. we're going to get to that because the purposes of this video is to not only see if you actually are a good baker, but to try to get Obama to know that you're a good baker. Oh, awesome. If if you had Obama over to bake a pie, okay. would you um, ask him to go shirtless? I don't know that I would ask him to uh, take his shirt off because I don't think that that would be very respectful. If he were to, if he were to indicate to me that he wanted to take his shirt off, I'm not hitting on you, Mr. President. But neither am I, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <There. Your> President. <laughs> Very good, very good. So you are going to make for us a chicken pot pie. That's right. Which I haven't had in years. Uh, my mom used to make it when I lived at home, and it was delicious. So you have like a really high standard to live up to when it comes to, to chicken pot pie. Uh huh. And just mothering Nick and Jen. <laughs> and yes. I need you. To, let's just go up to the kitchen now before things get really crazy. Okay. Well, here's the ingredients for chicken pot pie: roasted chicken. We have baby portobello mushrooms, uh, a little bit of flour and butter, chicken stock in the roux. It's basically a gravy I'm making. I'm making a gravy. Broccoli and carrots that I'm going to roast. I've got a little bit of garlic. This is sage and rosemary. We have some pre-made pie crusts. I made them last night, so as to save on time. Also, it's better to have the pie crust kind of mellow out for a little while. What does mellow out mean? It means just, it, you know how potato salad is better the next day? Smoke a joint. Watch yeah. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, maybe some pie crust have a day off. Yeah. Hey, maybe uh, maybe the pie, pie, pie crust boyfriend is gonna like be real sweet to him. Give him a beach while he plays a uh, fucking. Uh, I was gonna say Elder Scrolls Oblivion. <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> Turn the oven on to like 400. We gotta get these in a roasting pan of some sort. Hey, Nick, will you come over and like OCD fuss about which pan? Yes. To, uh, <laughs> that would help so much. Yeah. Oh, I'm just taking this extra virgin olive oil and I'm drizzling it over the veggies. Don't treat your olive oil like it's a fucking pussy. <laughs> well, it's a virgin. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Treat your olive oil like it's a pussy, but yeah. like a virgin pussy. Your mom's gonna love Stroke this Stroke it. <laughs> Whisper to it. Tell it it's pretty. Mom, I'm so sorry, Mom. <laughs> Barack, please come to my house for pie. <laughs> So do you know your Emerald Style catchphrase? <laughs> yes. Uh, I was in a class called the uh, Ninja at UCB, and Billy Merritt taught it right before he moved to LA. And somewhere along the rehearsal process, I started just go going on stage and going, THROWING STAR! <laughs> I have decided to make the mushroom part of the gravy. So I put some butter in here and melted it, and now I'm putting an equal amount of flour. As you can tell, I'm measuring everything really precisely. THROWING STAR! <laughs> I cut an egg and now I'm pulling the yolk out because I'm going to put the yolk in the filling of the pie and I'm going to put the egg white on the crust. De-skin the chicken, shall we? You have to get the crust exactly right. That's a, that's a real science. So, uh, like, I, I don't fuck around with the measurements on that. Um, the crust is always the same. Alright, so I've rolled, so I've rolled out the pie dough. You can do this 
on like a, you can do it on like a, like a wooden baking surface or a metal baking table too. I use uh, saran wrap because it's easier to get the, the, the fucker into the pan. Dude. People can buy these pre-made in the supermarket, right? Shut your mouth. That's a bad thing? Yeah, it's a horrible thing. Oh. Those things are those those things are not pie crusts. I don't know what they are. They make a pie like substance. Uh, yeah, you can yeah, you can buy it in the supermarket. Yeah. I just I mean, come on. So then brush the egg white on it. Yeah. This is gonna make that sort of like a uh, professional looking sheen on your pie. It's gonna make all the ladies say no, you hey. mean shine, right? You know what I mean? The pie's gonna get a hooker and do a bunch of blow. If you wanted, could you put an Estevez on there? I would love to. This goes in at 425, and then after 15 minutes, you turn it down to like 375 and let it cook for the rest of the hour. Okay, here we go. This pie is fresh out the oven, only cooled for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Everyone take a bite. Mm, eat my pie. Eat my pie. Do it. Relax. Put yes, it sir. in your mouth and Calm swallow. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, man. oh, Michael. Huh? Oh, Michael. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> I want to hear what Michael has to say about it. I'm going to say your name. I like it. It's great. I mean, because nobody can taste it at home, I can just lie, right? I never had chicken pot pie with thick, in, um, like, full ingredients. Like, thick full innards. carrots. Yeah. Full mushroom, full broccoli. Uh-huh. And I think that makes a huge difference. Next time I might put a little more gravy in it. Yeah. Even more, right? Yeah. I thought it was too much gravy, but it yeah, actually You could use out. more just like fat shit. Yeah. Get some fat shit in it. Jesse, the cameraman, is a very picky eater. So we would like to have him try my dish and see if this could possibly be the one dish that he has ever liked. Yeah. It's gay. <laughs> <laughs> now your blog, piefolk.net, mm -hmm. is uh, kind of taken off. Yeah. You've been doing that for about how long? About a year, but it's really taken off since, uh, since like December. You want President Obama. Obama, you're missing out on this pie. Do you see this chicken pot pie? Check this, check this out. I've been making different videos asking President Obama if you're there and if you'd like to come over for some delicious pie, I would love to make something like this. I just learned how to make a green tea custard pie. I understand Ooh. that you like green tea ice cream and, and green tea. If you want to yeah. come over and talk about marriage equality, I think that gay rights is, um, it, they can't leave it up to it being state by state because it's a civil right, and so civil rights are a federal issue. Well, I think that gay America has been waiting for a long time politely. Uh, for a lot of things to happen and I think that the, the political climate of America is such that like when we ask for something I think our politicians will go. Oh, it's on our docket. You have to be patient be patient be patient But the truth of the matter is that uh, gay equality is a civil right and that uh, the, the, the gay minority is one of the only minorities that is uh, Denied their civil rights in the United States of America. They act like it's like uh, oh, it's not that it's not that it's a uh, we're violating your civil rights It's that, that this isn't for you but see, it not being for you means that a living uh, the American dream isn't for you either. And in which case, don't take my tax money. The worst part of it is, is the people that are getting married and are getting those tax breaks, essentially those taxes are coming from a pool that's being put in by you, as well as those who are getting married. So they're, they're, it's almost part of your income being transferred. Yeah, I do want the president to come over, but it's more like, it's more about me, like, it's more about me just seeing what will happen if I keep asking him. Uh, every Friday night musical at the Magnet Theater, you can see him once a month at Maud Night at UCB with Thunder Gulch. Uh -huh. He uh, teaches musical improv at the Magnet, so try to look at magnettheater.com yeah. for any classes that he might be teaching. As for show us your dish, we're now on iTunes, fellas, so please subscribe to us on iTunes. Follow us uh, on Twitter, at Show Us Your Dish. Like us on Facebook, uh, and also just showusyourdish.com. Tell your friends, please spread the word about us. Michael, thank you so much again. It was a pleasure having you here. That's our show. <laughs>